Hey everyone, this is Chad Kaler here, Field Agronomist for Beck Cybers. Today is July 25th, 2023, and I just want to provide some information on some of the uh, yellow soybean reports that are coming from the field. You know, there's been other areas across our marketing geography that have had uh, struggles with the yellow soybeans, and they don't exactly line up with what we're seeing in, in our area. But I want to share some thoughts and uh, some management practices here in what we're seeing with some of these yellow soybeans. So... Um, in this particular area where I'm at, which would be far eastern Will County in Illinois, uh, we were very wet in uh, throughout April and then started to turn off drier uh, towards a later part of May. And then the first three weeks of June, close to the, close to the end of June, uh, was very dry. So a lot of soybeans did sit in dry soils for a long time. And then in this particular area, in this field that I'm in here, Roughly starting about July 20, excuse me, June 27th, 28th, about four to five inches of total rainfall fell within one week. And then uh, the following week, another two inches of rainfall. So six to seven inches of rainfall within about a 10 to 14 day stretch. So uh, the roots basically sat in the dry conditions for quite a while, extended period of time, and then was flooded. So now we're seeing the effects and you can see here on the screen, uh, some pictures from the field that I took and also there's a little bit of a, a drone video that's inserted in here that you can see uh, how the pattern is not real consistent across the field but you can see uh, that there are places in low spots uh, or poorly drained areas where we're seeing more of this effect of these plants that are turning yellow and eventually uh, dying off so what we're sh what I'm showing here in this photo is on the left we've got plants that are significantly affected by what i consider to be phytophthora root rot and on the right are healthy beans and these are beans that are about 30 foot apart in the field and just a minor difference in the soil type and drainage uh, in this area it actually is is causing a major play here as far as the infection uh, this is actually a competitor bean a 2.9 maturity competitor bean of ours um, that we're looking at but there's a lot of fields that are infected that did have dry soil conditions throughout June followed by uh, significant rainfalls the latter part of June and early July so on the left here you can see these two affected plants that are dying you know there's a couple things that can be confused here uh, Phytophthora is one and then also fusarium wilt would be another one and these two plants were pulled from the same row in the same area and the one on the left here you can see most of these leaves are attached uh, but we do have the center uh, or the pith area of the stem if you can see that that is pretty rotten and i think that's just because of the age uh, i think the age of this plant as far as how long it's been infected and how heavy an infection it was uh, is showing us that it's actually Phytophthora root rot here. Now you can see the roots down here are, uh, are brown and rotten. This plant on the right, this is actually showing a little bit more indication of what I would call Fusarium bacterial wilt. Uh, the leaves almost appear to have uh, a little bit of sudden death syndrome type appearance with the intervenal chlorosis with uh, the leaf drop. And so some of this uh, can be confused with sudden death syndrome. But when you split the stem here of fusarium, uh, this is supposed to show a brown pith. And in this particular example, it shows more of a water soaking, uh, which I'm, I'm going to call these both, uh, without diagnosis from plant clinic uh, lab, I'm going to call both these phytophthora root rot. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there is some fusarium bacterial wilt based on the pattern of rainfall or lack of rainfall and then rainfall that we did have. So... As far as management practices that we can do this year, really nothing. These plants will uh, mostly die and um, premature death will set in fairly quickly throughout the month of uh, August here if it hasn't already. So spraying a fungicide will not help uh, to protect these plants and spraying a nutritional will not help to uh, revive these plants as well. If you have any questions, please contact your local Bex representative or agronomist. Thank you very much.